China Davis was joined by her aunt Lynette Allen. China says she's still dealing with both the physical and emotional pain caused by the attack on Saturday. Just waiting for people to get off of the bus. It was a group of people behind me. One of the girls told me to go onto the bus aggressively and I replied with I am. And I guess once I responded with that, they just started coming after me. Davis says she didn't know any of the people threatening her. She says things escalated quickly while on the phone with her aunt who heard everything. And next thing you know, I heard humbling. I heard the phone like hit the ground and she was screaming, help, 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 you know, like, why are you guys doing this? Why, why, you know, crying. Alan quickly got in the car looking at China's location on her phone to get to her. In the meantime, I hear her getting beat. And I hear say, what did I do? What did I do? Why? She chipped her tooth, her entire body bruised, and she's got a broken nose that her aunt says will need surgery. You just be careful about your surroundings, and I just hope they get help. And this don't happen to another person again. It could have been anybody. She was just a random luck of the draw. It could have been anybody's child, anybody's niece anybody's baby and that's not okay again police searching for these two people who they say are related involved in that attack the three teens that are already facing charges were arrested and then released thanks for checking out the local 12 youtube channel click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post